Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today we're going on a yet another trip reports too many this year over to uh, Dubai and we're flying again fly Dubai so so far the experience hasn't been that bad with changing seats as I mentioned before but yet again because I couldn't change the flight I'm flying with them again so let's hope it's not a total disappointment and let's hope the service is much better so let's pick up a journey in Otapeni Airport. Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today we're going, as I mentioned before, over to uh, Dubai and let's go in and check in. It's nice and warm in here, <laughs> so it's very cold, it's winter. Um, I don't think check-in has opened yet, but I'm going to be checking the news board. So as um, Fly Dubai isn't a European airline, we can't do the um, self-check-in, but we can do the um, the counter check-in only, so we'll be doing that after the um, the gate has been assigned. I'm just gonna sit down and wait for the gate to be announced. Uh, hopefully, it should be soon because it is approaching three hours before um, departure. Alrighty everyone, the check-in has just opened, it is 84 to 85, so like last time, we're going to be going up there. So we just arrived at the check-in counter and now I'm going to be checking in. So that is a bit boring with the 7 kilo um, hand luggage because Emirates doesn't really have that, but we'll see um, what happens. So we just passed um, the check-in process and now we're going up to security. Very busy here at Alta Penny Airport, a lot of security procedures going on. Uh, now we're going to go up to border control, um, hopefully that's not too long, and go up to gate 15 and explore some of the shops. Uh, today no lounge access, sorry no business pass, um, but hopefully still the economy bulkhead product is better. I did purchase the uh, extra bulkhead seats, let's um, experience those. Um, they weren't too expensive, about 500 dirhams, uh, we'll, see how, we'll see how they are. A nice touch of a little uh, aviation video just there. Uh, now we're just going to go through the shops and see what's there to offer at Artipanier. So welcome to the gate, um, not much to see here, just some restaurants, cafes and um, morning should be in about an hour, so let's we'll check out everything on board. So now we're just bought, um, boarding and I'm on the jet. Unfortunately, like last time, the movies are all um, with the payment, so that's a disappointing sign for play. It's quite good leg room, given um, the bulkhead seat.
pot, and now they're serving, there was an option between chicken and veggies, and I chose the option with the chicken, and let's uh, give it a try. It also comes with some bread, some salad, and some soup. This is the cutlery. Nice to have some better cutlery for the whites. Let's try it. Kind of like some beans with some veggies. It's okay. Let's turn them in close to chicken. Put the mashed potatoes and the veggies. The chicken is very dry. Uh, the, the mashed potatoes are okay. I tried the carrot with the sauce. Not too bad. So I think the chicken went a bit raw because. Um, it was like dry and raw at the same time, but nonetheless, yeah, I think I decided to leave it. The veggies and the peas worked really good with the sauce, that was a good upside. And then there was a ch uh, chocolate mousse, which also looked good as well. So now I'm just going to get some rest. Really, it's like 12 o'clock in the morning, yeah, and uh, I'll come back with more landing uh, information later. So we're just landing here in Dubai, some beautiful breathtaking views. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there was some positives to the flight and there was some uh, drawbacks. But overall, much better experience than uh, last time I flew by Dubai over to Bucharest. I think they put more effort because of the destination. So please like, subscribe, and share all that more videos like this.